So I did want to ask you on the personal front, when you were you were cleaning up the city, let's say back in the 1998 onwards, you would come home every day to your family, your two little daughters, your wife. Is is does it take compartmentalization to be able to leave Ma'am, it? Ma'am, it's and easier come home? said than done. You brought that gusta to the house, and then you did uh, do didn't do uh, very well as a husband and a father and all that. But then it is credit to them that they suffered and they tolerated, they lived and. Uh, because now we know mental health, but at yeah. that time nobody was talking. No, about not it. at all, madam. Not what at was all. That but like? the point is, you know, this. Uh, Becoming a sita pragya that you don a uniform there, come home and become a jelly belly and forget about all that is not. Continuous phone calls will be haunting you all through the day and night. And uh, then uh, all problems come. Uh, see, every shootout in 93-95 when I was here was done only at 9.30 in the night. And then you reach home and in Kandivili, Borivili, on shootout, you wear uniform again, go all the way throughout the night, you work and come back and next day morning again, all things start from uh, uh, routine. So those things, you cannot be um, putting a compartment saying that you are a police officer between this hour to this hour and when you come home, you are a lovey-dovey husband and uh, father to the children. That's an unfortunate problem. That's where a lot of police people have disturbed married life and uh, various other issues. Many children have gone astray and things like that. Many of them have done outstanding uh, education and uh, achievement. But then some of them uh, can go get into wrong company and all that. So in my case, uh, luck has that same, that cat in the dark uh, room, which was my selection process I mentioned. <laughs> my wife uh, stood by my side and she stayed there. We are 40 years married, happily as um, happily married, and 40 years we have done. Children have done very well, and then that's it. But madam, I must say that um, when I came home, it is not that I could switch off and become nice and soft and take rest and mm-hmm. go go to work next day. It was not like that. No, not like that. same gussa, same gali, and same things like that. So my utter shock, my wife one day said, look at this child speaking the same language which you speak on the phone. <laughs> I was shocked that police language, the child was parroting. So huh. I then stopped using those kind of... Uh, those language. words. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, I, uh, I, I did uh, take care of them quite a bit. And uh, I also switched jobs from uh, uh, executive, non-executive and things like that. I was in the intelligence bureau for yes. some time. I yes. was in the CBA. So those jobs, uh, you don't have to uh, plow uh, to, to Saturday, Sunday and things like that. So I gave them time and I took, looked after them and all that. I was a loving father and uh, my wife and things like that. So all that is fine. But then the challenge is uh, for those people who cannot, uh, you know, man- adjust and uh, live through that, it could be very, very difficult to handle. 